Zin, the FDA has now granted full approval to the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine. This for people aged 16 and older. This is the first coronavirus vaccine given full approval by the FDA. To this point, remember, it's been under what's known as emergency use authorization, still safe, and many tens of millions of people have been vaccinated. However, big changes expected with this, including opening the door to more vaccine mandates. Today, I'm calling on more country, more companies, I should say, in the private sector to step up with vaccine requirements that will reach millions more people. If you're a business leader, a nonprofit leader, state or local lever who has been waiting for full FDA approval to require vaccinations, I call on you now to do that. Require it. Do what I did last month. Require your employees to get vaccinated. Good morning. Um, I just woke up and I could just feel my heart full of pain. Um, the Bible tells us to love justice and do what's right and speak up for the oppressed. Right now, there's so much oppression going on in the world uh, that the media is actually enforcing. But wait, oppression only matters to them. Certain lives only matter to them when they say it does. And I want to speak on something, and I hope this message reaches people who aren't Christian. And I hope you can really look deep down at yourself and see what you're causing by the way that you treat people. So I'm an eighth grade teacher and I teach English, but we do a whole Holocaust unit next quarter. And we learn about Hitler and Hitler youth and pretty much all the bad things that happened to people in those time periods. And I'm seeing history repeat itself. What did Hitler do with the Jews? He brainwashed people to believe that people were superior to Jews, that there was something wrong with Jews that, you know, he put a star on them and literally, like, took them out of society and made them stand out, made their lives miserable, discriminated, bullied, intimidated them. And uh, that's what's happening right now with the vaccine versus the unvaccinated. If you take a look at all the people who are vaccinated, and I'm not saying all because there are people who are vaccinated who are still kind, but... Majority-wise, the vaccinated think they are superior. They have been brainwashed by the media to believe that if someone is unvaccinated, they are a murderer, when anybody can spread the virus. And they are trying to make life miserable for people who are not vaccinated by having them take weekly COVID tests or lose their jobs or this or that. Literally the star on the Jews all over again, except this time it's a star on the unvaccinated. I've read comments on Facebook, on YouTube, on social media, where I have broke down crying for the evil in this world. People saying, well, the same people who preach love your neighbor and get the vaccine for your neighbor for care and concern for your neighbor are now mocking people who die of COVID who are not vaccinated and saying, I don't feel sorry for them. How can you value human life and speak for all human rights when you believe that babies should be killed in the womb? And how can you stand up for all lives matter when only a certain life matters and then unvaccinated, unvaccinated lives don't matter because they won't take a jab? People believe that taking a jab in your arm somehow makes you a better person when you're at the same time while you're mocking the people that God made in his image. And what you need to realize is that God and Jesus are not going to come to you on judgment day and say, are you vaccinated? Okay, enter the heavenly gates. But what they are going to say is, how did you treat your neighbor? The very hate you spew at your neighbor could potentially land you in darkness. Jesus says that anyone who calls their brother fool or raka is in, is, is in danger of the fiery hell. And I see people making shots at people's IQ because they don't get the shot. Bullying, intimidation, persecution, and it needs to stop. Because what's happening is this, God separating the sheeps from the tares, or the wheat from the tares. You know, you wanna be on the side of Jesus. You wanna be on the side of Jesus that is kind. Because lawlessness will abound, the hearts of many are growing cold. 
and you can't let that affect you. Till your last breath, you need to be kind because that's what Jesus was about. He said, forgive them, Father. They know not what they do. We need to forgive these people, of course, but I just wanted to speak on it. And I want people to see the hypocrisy in their actions. And, you know, every single life, you need to know this right now, whether you're black, white, unvaccinated, vaccinated, whether you wear a mask or don't wear a mask, every single life on this planet was breathed in by God. He took his time to design every single human being that you come in contact. Every person that you look into the eyes of is someone that God loves and wants to come to the knowledge of the truth of repentance. And if you are treating people the way that you are treating them over a vaccine of all things, then you really need to take a look at yourself and see, is there an evil spirit in you? For you to literally tell someone, I'm so glad they died because they didn't have the vaccine. Oh, now all of us who are vaccinated are so much better than this person who died. I'm so glad. You know, like only Satan would talk like that. Only a demon would talk like that. And I used to do it too. I used to be someone who made fun of people who did not get vaccines. I didn't do it to the sense that I wish they were dead. That's just pure evil and ridiculous. But I did tell them that they were dumb for not getting the shot and I repented of that. And now I'm on the other side, you know, like Apostle Paul was persecuting Christians and now he's on the, he was on the other side of it preaching that, you know, Jesus, that's what I'm doing, that... I came to my senses and I saw the wrong in it. The government literally has been using these tactics to bully and intimidate and divide for years. And what does the Bible say before Jesus comes? Nation will rise against nation. And then the end will come. For those of you condemning your neighbor, whether they are unvaccinated or not, the judge is right at the door. And I'm not telling you this to scare you. I'm telling this to you because I love you and I want you to repent. Someone told me the other day, or I saw a video where someone said, we're all praying for the people, you know, that the Taliban are hurting. But how many of us are praying for the Taliban? The people say, pray for your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. And that takes a lot of courage. If you love, the, if you love those who love you, what reward is in that? I cry because I care about people and I don't like the fact that people are being oppressed because of medical choice. You know, whether you're for vaccines or or not for vaccines or for masks or not for masks, something that you need to realize is the common good of everybody and that is love. Even in death, love cannot separate. Death can't separate us from God's love. And to those people who are dying, they're going to a better place if they're in Christ Jesus away from this evil world where all people do is look out for themselves. We need to keep our hearts tender in these cruel and hateful times, and we need to be the lights of the world by our example, not just by preaching, but by what we do and what we say and how we act. And there's so many things happening to the unvaccinated people and people in the pandemic who literally risk their lives with no ma- like with not enough masks or medical equipment and didn't even get COVID or die, but they risk their lives to save others are now being told they can't work because of a medical choice. I wish we could all just stand up for each other. I wish we could all just love one another despite our differences. But that's what heaven's going to be, and that's why Jesus is coming to restore it, because we look forward to a new heaven and earth in which righteousness dwells. Repent and stop treating your neighbor as the black plague because of COVID. Have a good day, guys. Bye.